Dad's final story for Christmas Day. Okay, Dad, this is what it's called. <coughs> Dad's called a Pony Express and the Air Star on the Christmas party. Oh, well. So, here we go. One day, Luke, Dad and Carl are going on the Polar Express and the Eurostar to the North Pole. Luke and Carl got on the Polar Express and Dad got on the Eurostar and they went to the North Pole. We're going to have a final story for Christmas Day today. Yeah, we are. <clears throat> Luke and Carl saw the monkey and the hunting dogs on the carriages of the Polar Express. And Dad saw Peter Pan and friends on the Eurostar and Carl and Luke never didn't see the monkey and the dogs before Dad who never saw Peter Pan and friends. But they said hello, Pan, Lost Bo and the Lost Boys. Are you coming to the North Pole? They said yes, and with that they saw Herbie on the car on the Eurostar as well. They'd never seen Herbie before. And then they saw the wolves outside in the snow. Went, and they ran off to the Polar Express. The wolves jumped into the carriage and the monkey and the hunting dogs saw the wolves as they got to the top of the hill. Polar Express and Eurostar got to the very top and went down the hill when they went This is fun, like busy going backwards and Thomas the jet engine. And when they got to the scary tunnel, they went... Set me on. And when they come to the other end, they saw the roller coaster like <laughs> Glacier Gulch. Like Reneus and the roller coaster and a runaway elephant that went up, 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 and they went... Until they got to the top, Monkey and Luke held on to safety bar, and Luke said, "Well, you can you can stay in of well, I can stay in that. And then we can last for you to be here. I stand on top of the expose. I don't know if I'm going to bolt it. The train appears to be accelerating uncontrollably, and we are practically approaching Glacier Gulch. It just happens to be the most Daniel Bay in the world. I suggest we all hold on." And they went down, down, down. They went and they got to the bottom and there was trouble. They saw the ice is frozen and it was late, too late for the Polar Express your star. As they crashed through the frozen lake and skated very fast, then Dong, clang and pin hit the ice and then it happened, the ice is cracking and it went creak and the Polar Express and Eurostar quickly got back onto the line and they escaped <coughs> uh, they escaped from the frozen sea onto their tracks and off to the North Pole where elves were waiting for them and the wolves and the hunting dogs got ready for the chase and the car is going to catch up to the carriage and suddenly the coupling broke and bump the carriage jerked forward and then oh no oh no said the car dogs and wolves catch up to the carriage gonna be okay said car to the dogs and the wolves then it suddenly happened there was a downhill and they went down very fast maybe not if they catch up to it and the carriage couldn't stop oh they screamed as they got to the tunnel, breaking carefully, then... Whee! <clears throat> they squealed, and then, the, we're going to crash, they shouted, as the carriage is spinning on the turntable. Help! Ah! We're going to crash! Luke and the dogs and the wolves got onto the car and went back into the tunnel. Then they heard a record player hearing silver bells and they got to the shooting express the car pressed the green button and whoosh they are shooted down the coloured tunnel and they went whoa 
and then they stopped. As they got out of the shooting express, and, and they went, they saw the present machine, which was waiting by the hunting dogs in the wolves, who got out of the car and went down to the machine to look at the presents waiting for them. I thought there were going to be a way out. We will miss everything. And then they saw a present. Luke was in the car doing doing Bob sleigh, <laughs> and Carl got to the present, and hunting dog said, "Bark, bark, come on." And they barked to the wolves, and the wolves went sliding down the dogs again. Oh, as they screamed, the car went, oh, hmm. The car and the dogs escaped, and the wolves swerved through the points, and they went down, 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 and they fell, and then, oh. Wolf, they said. All the presents were in their stacks, so did, so the wolves went into sacks too, where the presents were. Then the sacks started to move, and they burst out onto an air balloon, and they went flying up in the air, and the elves were waiting for them, so they got back on the Polar Express. Father Christmas is coming up to town on his sleigh, and then pull up boy here as he went up into the air. It was time to go home for Christmas party, and they got back to the Polar Express, and they went back home for their parties, and it was it was quiet. Luke, Dad and Carl crept quietly forward suddenly. All the lights went went on. What a marvellous sight awaiting for them, as he was Nemo, Dory and friends wearing their centre hats. Peter Pan and friends were wearing centre hats also. Thomas and friends were wearing hats. Hornby Train, Smokey Joe, Eurostar were the centre hats. Teletubbies wearing centre hats. Bob and friends are wearing centre hats. I've all the engine and friends centre hats. Bagpuss and friends in their Santa hats and hunting dog and wolves wearing their Santa hats and Polar Express and Eurostar wearing their hats. And what about Herbie? And Herbie. And Carl was wearing a Santa hat too. Everyone said three cheers for Carl. They called hooray. Merry Christmas Carl and a happy new year. Luke and Dad began to sing. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. The car and the friends thought it was the best Christmas ever. Luke and Dad thought they would, they would nowhere other be than here. And then they got into the car and went off and lived happily ever after. The end. That's it! That's it! Just our Christmas over now! Hooray! Hooray! It's Christmas Day! Hooray!